Tonight's episode of Horrified is brought to you by The Movie Crypt. Hosted by filmmakers Adam Green and Joe Lynch, along with Arwen the Yorkie, The Movie Crypt is a free weekly podcast that offers extremely candid, revealing, and inspiring conversations about the entertainment industry with some of the biggest and most iconic names in Hollywood. A new episode premieres every Monday morning on Geek Nation, iTunes, and most everywhere else you listen to podcasts. It's the Movie Crypt! And now, Scope Pictures presents the original series, Horrified. As the mighty ACDC sang, it's a long way to the top if you want to rock and roll. And any working artist can back that statement up in spades. But one thing they don't tell you on your way up is just how much time you'll spend on airplanes in this industry. All it takes is a few international flights before you're over the glamour of globetrotting for work and appearances. But putting aside the hassles, the uncomfortable seats, the never-ending flight delays, the eternal security lines, and the rancid stench of peanut farts, all it takes is one horrifying airline travel experience, like the one actress Christina Klebe endured, to make you never want to board an airplane again. So uh, if you're scared of flying, I would suggest not to watch this episode because you'll never want to get in an airplane again. But this was in 2002, right after September 11th, um, well, a year after, and I was in Italy and I was flying back to New York. Suddenly I wake up from this putrid smell and I thought someone had like thrown up in the bathroom. It was, it was like chemicals mixed with, Anyway, it was just awful. Airline um, attendants were running, I know you're not supposed to say stewardesses anymore, that's so unfeminist of me. Anyway, they were running up and down the air airplane and suddenly yelling, saying, grabbing people's blankets off their laps, like literally just like running up and down the aisles. And it, I'm flying from Italy, so we're on, Alitalia and I'm with lots of Italians and we know how Italians like to react to things. So suddenly this woman just starts yelling like, Che successo? Che successo? Oh Dio, Dio, che Dio! Non voglio morire, non voglio morire. Okay, like that, like literally praying. The pilot comes on. We're having some technical difficulty. We're going to have to make an emergency landing in Ireland. And that was it. Well, we were a third over the Atlantic. We're flying and suddenly it goes whoop, and we just go literally like, like wings up, down, vertically, do 180. The, the whole plane starts shaking, like, you know, like literally, and we're going down, we're dropping really fast. And I'm sitting next to the window and I'm looking out and you know, this is over the Atlantic, you know, you're 35,000 feet up in the air and suddenly we're like 10,000 feet in the air and I'm looking down and I can see the, the waves breaking. I can see the white, you know, the crest of the waves. I took my, my phone out and at that point we thought like if you turned your phone on like you were gonna like, you know, something catastrophic would happen. So I'm like, okay, if anything worse happens, I'm gonna turn my phone on and, I, and I'm gonna call my mom. Like, you know, like if something worse happened and I decided at that point to turn my phone on, I wasn't gonna be calling my mom anymore. There was also smoke that suddenly was coming, like coming out of, the, the smell that I thought was the bad bathroom smell was smoke, it was, there was a fire, <laughs> okay? So that's why the, the, the uh, flight attendants were grabbing blankets was to put out a fire. And it's taking so much time, it's going on forever. It's like not like we're like getting to our emergency landing fast. It's like two hours, okay? It's two hours of sitting, looking out the window, thinking that is where I'm going to die. Like that's where I'm gonna die. Oh, that, oh, look at there. Oh, that, which, I wonder what shark's gonna eat me. Anyway, a lot of time to think about your death. We see land, or I see land, and I could see the Coast Guard. There were boats out there, because we were so low. And then we fly over a mountain, which we were so low. I felt like it was one of those movies, like, uh, what's the movie where they, they crash in the mountains in Alaska and they all eat each other, you know, yeah. alive. <laughs> like, it felt like it was like we were gonna crash into the mountain. And then we made it over, and then we landed, in Shannon, Ireland. What had happened was that there was a fuse that burnt. And the fuse, that was the fire, that was the smoke that I woke up from thinking it was the putrid bathroom smell. The fuse for the heating liquid 
in the front shield, you know, the front uh, windshield of the plane, that's what had burnt, which meant that at 35,000 feet in the freezing cold, the windshield cracked. Yeah, honestly, I, I, yeah, I, I was, uh, yeah, I was horrified, okay? I was, that's it, I was horrified. I was horrified. Yeah, that, yeah, is that, it was horrifying. Thank you.